In this video, I will be benchmarking 6 popular games on the Surface Pro 4. If you want to skip ahead to a specific game's benchmark, just select the link down below in the video description. Now some of you might be wondering why I'm benchmarking the Surface Pro 4 at all. We all know it was not intended to be a gaming powerhouse, but just because it doesn't have a dedicated graphics card in it, doesn't mean that it can't play games. In fact, if you're okay with playing games at less than 1080p resolution and on medium to low settings, there are tons of popular titles that will run great on it. The Surface Pro 4 can come with up to three different processor integrated GPUs depending on which model you buy. They are the Intel Core M3, which comes with the Intel HD 515, the Core i5, which comes with the HD 520, and the Core i7, which comes with the Iris 540. The model benchmarked in this video comes with the Core i5. Keep in mind that if you get the i7 version, it will come with the more powerful Intel Iris 540. That's it for the overview. Let's get to the benchmarking. Counter-Strike Global Offensive has rapidly grown in popularity since it was released three years ago. It is as pure a shooter as it gets. To play this game properly, you'll want to maintain a consistent 60 plus frames per second at a good resolution. I performed the test on Dust 2 and played on a 20 man server. The resolution was set at 1440 by 900 with textures on high and everything else on low. The result was actually pretty impressive. The Surface Pro 4 managed to average about 60 to 90 FPS with occasional dips below 60 because of lots of smoke or lots of players being on the screen. Overall, I was very impressed and except for a couple dips in frame rate, enjoyed it very much. Next up, Rocket League. If you haven't tried this tasty ball of goodness, you should. It's a fantastically simple yet complex soccer game where you drive cars and try to score goals. In a game like this, all you need for good gameplay is a consistent 30 plus frames per second. For my in-game settings, I turned off all the extras, set my textures to high quality, world detail to quality, and render quality to quality. How did the Surface Pro 4 do? Pretty great. I had a consistent 40 plus frames per second and even scored a couple goals in my match. The only problem I had was with the sound having a terrible echo, but I'm sure this will be fixed with future driver updates. Next up, I tried Dota 2, a fantastic MOBA or online multiplayer battle arena game. Recently, Dota 2 went through a revamp because of the addition of the Source 2 engine. It will be interesting to see how the Surface Pro handles this game for this reason. The graphics settings were set to 1440 x 900, texture quality to high, 100% render quality, world lighting on, and everything else turned off. I was presently surprised with 50 plus consistent frames per second. The Surface Pro 4 certainly didn't have a problem running this game, and it would be possible to bump the graphics quality up a bit more and still have smooth gameplay. Skyrim is a classic RPG that absolutely dominated machines when it first was released. Now however, even the Surface Pro 4 can play it quite well. As you can see, I ran it at 1440 by 900 with all graphical settings turned to low, except for textures turned to medium. The Surface Pro 4 averaged between 50 and 60 frames per second with occasional dips down to the 30 to 40 range when there were dust and other particle effects on the screen. This is another case where with some fiddling you could probably turn on certain effects and have improved graphical experience while still getting good frame rates. Heroes of the Storm is another fantastic MOBA. Many would say it's the action oriented MOBA since its game modes promote combat over farming. Before I could play Heroes of the Storm, I had to deal with the Windows 10 scaling issue. By default, the scaling of the application causes the mouse to be trapped in the top left corner because Windows is misreading how big the application actually is on the screen. To fix this, I simply right clicked on the shortcut on my desktop, went to Properties, then I went to the Compatibility tab and checked the Disable Display Scaling on High DPI Settings. For the actual gameplay, my graphics settings were as follows. Resolution set to 1440 by 900 with everything turned off or set to the lowest possible settings except for textures, which I set to high. The result was quite pleasant with 35 to 50 FPS providing consistent and smooth gameplay. Last but not least is Shadow of Mordor. This is one of my favorite games of all time. It has a great storyline, a fun open world environment, and fun gameplay mechanics. For my video settings, I tried two different resolutions. The first was at a higher resolution of 1368 by 912, and the second was at 912 by 608. Everything else was set to low. 
The first resolution maintained much more detail, but the Surface Pro 4 struggled to keep the frames coming and only averaged between 18 to 22 frames per second. Despite the low frame rate, the game actually felt pretty playable. The second resolution provided much better frame rates in the 27 to 32 range. I felt Shadow of Mortar did a good job pushing the Surface Pro 4 to its limits. Many newer titles will be similarly demanding, so if you want to get the Surface Pro 4 and play the latest games on it, you will likely have to play these games at very low resolutions to get smooth enough frame rates for good gameplay. Overall, I'm very impressed with the Surface Pro 4's gaming ability, and I'm sure that the i7 model would perform even better. If you missed our Surface Pro 4 unboxing video, click the annotation or the link below. If you missed our destruction of the Surface Pro the last time we drop tested it, be sure to go check out the Writing Tab A Documentary video. We had a lot of fun making it, and I think you'll have a lot of fun checking it out as well. That's it for this video guys, peace out, see you next time.